from Cornwall to Birmingham and Johnston and Bexhill. Here's Ribbon, Spire on the Radio. Hello to um, any low music. How are you today? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So, can you tell me, how long have you been a single songwriter for? Uh, I've been singing since I was in high school. I used to sing along with the, the car radio a lot. And I probably, I started writing my own music um, in the past 10 years. I just kind of dabbled with it. I've always, uh, you know, had a journal. So I've been a writer in some form, you could say. Uh, but actually making songs and songwriting probably in the last 10 years or so. So um, where do you get your um, inspiration from? Uh, I, I get my inspiration as far as like what to write about, uh, just kind of from day to day life, you know, like a, a small moment or something that's huge going on in my life that impacts me. Um, I just find a way to to write about it and express the feelings and you know hope that somebody can relate as far as the sound goes um i've always been a big fan of cat power uh shan marshall she's from atlanta as well um and i also really like feist i don't know how much my style totally is the same as her. She can sing much higher than me. Uh, but that's always been influential to me. I love the Beatles as well. So um, what was it like going into the um, recording studio when you first went there? Oh, it was a dream come true. It was so unreal, like flying out to LA and getting to work with Jack Douglas and the like amazing team of musicians he has there. He has a really great analog studio. Um, I'm not super like technical with gear and stuff, but any of the stuff that I like told to my friends who are really into that kind of thing were like, wow, that's so cool. You know, like a bunch of old like 70s microphones, stuff like that. So, uh, can you tell me more about your debut single called? Um I'm Afraid. What's that all about? Yeah, so I'm afraid, you know, it's just kind of trying to express the feeling of being afraid to fall in love with someone. Uh, I think, you know, in a way, some people have been there before for one reason or another. So um, are you going to be releasing any new music in the new future? Yeah, yeah, I should have a, a single breathe coming out and then maybe one more single and then probably the EP that I've been working on with Jack Douglas for a little bit here. So um, are you looking forward to releasing your debut EP? Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Super excited. So um, can you tell me, what's it like being signed to um, Confidential Records? What's that like for you? Uh, it's really great, you know, it's it's nice to just have like a really, you know, a team working with me, you know, I, I don't know where I would be today all without Jack Douglas, you know, believing in me and, you know, finding people who, you know, work with PR and management and help, you know, just organize the releases and everything, um, promotion. It's it's really been such a blessing to get to to be signed to Confidential Records. So have you got any thoughts about doing a, a collab with, with another artist in the near future? Sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, have you any thoughts about doing a, uh, a collab with another artist in the near future at all? Uh, yeah, I would love that. I have, um, you know, some people in mind who I would maybe like to do it with one day. There's nothing set in stone at the moment. So, uh, can you tell me what, what gigs we've got coming up? 
Uh, so last week I actually just played at the Tabernacle in Atlanta, which is my favorite venue ever. I opened for Echo and the Bunnymen. Not sure if you know them, but they uh, they have a lot of great songs and uh, that was a magical time. That was the such a great audience. You know, they really were engaged. Um, and my next show is at Sundown Social. It's August 8th in Atlanta area, Sandy Springs. Um, it'll be going on outside in like the little community courtyard area. We'll just playing some originals, some covers, uh, some kind of like jazzy pop feel to it. And then my next gig after that is in New York City at Michael Imperioli's new bar in Manhattan. I'm gonna bring my guitar player, John Burns. We're gonna have a duo and we'll be playing for a couple hours, just some covers and originals. And that'll be on August 12th. So is there a venue that you'd like to play at, the play at in the near future? Oh yeah, um, I would love to play the Tabernacle again. Um, you know, anywhere, you know, in Atlanta is great, honestly. I just, right now I've just been really, you know, just trying to get out there, especially with my music coming out, meet new people who are, you know, enjoying the music. And yeah, I'm honestly like, no matter if it's like a two hour cover gig at a restaurant on a Saturday night or like playing the Tabernacle for, you know, over 2000 people, it's still, it's, it, I love it almost just the same. I mean, obviously the bigger stage, it's like, it's pretty, cool and exciting, but it's, there's, there's a lot you can take away from both experiences. I really enjoy the intimacy of smaller shows like Eddie's Attic in Atlanta. It's uh, one of my favorite venues to play at. It's a listening room where John Mayer got discovered. So um, finally, can you tell my listeners, where can I find you on your social media? Uh, yeah, so all of my social media is Ellie Low Music, um, just E L L Y L O W Music M U S I C. Um, thank you. Let me chat to you today. Oh, of course. Thank you. Enjoy your rest of your day. You too. Bye. Bye.